Eric, look, health work, healthcare workers are way too familiar with cases like these, especially because before many of them have treated migrants who have attempted to scale the wall and unfortunately fall and are impacted with severe injuries, uh, some that need to be treated for brain and spinal cord injuries, which are some of the most severe. And now healthcare workers are telling us that not only have border wall falls have significantly increased, but they're actually treating migrant patients for injuries all over the body. Take a listen. Uh, we definitely had over 400 for the first time. That's all that we were seeing about, you know, at least one a day. Um, what we saw back in 2019 with 40, you know, that was over the whole year. Now we could easily see that in a month. And so the number of migrants needing treatment for severe injuries after falling from the U.S.-Mexico border wall has significantly increased for the past five years. That's according to Dr. Alexandra Tenorio, who's a local neurosurgeon at a major trauma center. On Saturday, at least 10 migrants were injured and taken to trauma centers after falling from the border wall near the Tijuana River Valley. Officials described it as a mass casualty event. San Diego Fire and Rescue responded to the incident. They tell us they found several migrants with broken bones. They also say some of the migrants were trying to scale the wall with their children. All of them were taken to trauma center. So back out here, we know that uh, s these past several days there has been some rain. So uh, actually migrant advocates who were there before that incident, they tell us that rain could have played a part in that. But that is the latest information that we have as far as a Saturday's incident. And if you want to see if we actually receive more information, you can check back on CBS8.com. And of course, just keep following the story. That's latest here near the border. I'll send things back to you guys.